The special election for the county council's at-large seat is three weeks away. In the next coming weeks, CTV will introduce you to each of those candidates. Joining us today in the studio is candidate and Bowie Mayor Tim Adams. Mr. Adams, thank you, sir, for joining us. Hey, thank you for having me today. Talk about your decision. You've been mayor now five years in Bowie. Why you want to be now be an at-large member of the county council? Well, the main reason is because of the people. Mm -hmm. I got so many calls and texts and people asking me to run. They asked if, if I could bring my, my experiences and my integrity uh, to the council. And I thought about it with my family and decided that I needed to step up and make sure that I could provide that support and that, that insight that I have and the experiences I have to our county. So to the county council, you bring what that is not there right now? Yeah, I, I bring some of the experience that, that truly goes with business. Mm -hmm. I, I understand economic development and I understand what it takes. You see, I've grown a business uh, from the trunk of my car to, to a national prominence. And I've also worked with so many other uh, small businesses in, in supporting them and helping them to grow. What are the most pressing issues right now in Prince George's County? I think the most pressing issues right now are safety. I, I think we, we, we have to make sure that, that people have to be able to feel safe in their homes and when we're on the street. Education is a huge issue for us. We need to make sure that, that we're doing the right things to support our children. And of course, economic development, because that'll help fuel being able to support the other two as well. So what is your plan to bring in new businesses? That, that always creates a, a larger tax base. How will you do that? Well, I think what we have to look at is making sure that we make Prince George's County uh, business friendly. And a part of that is looking at our processes. When people come and talk about how long it takes them to, to create uh, their businesses, to build and bring industry in, I think we need to look at that. I mean, look at our permitting process. How do we be do get best practices? How do we make sure we streamline those things? How do we hold accountability? You know, how do we, how do we really draw them in? Let's talk about another big issue here in the county. It's, it's hot, it's the summertime, crime usually goes up in the summertime. What's your plan to combat youth crime and carjackings here in Prince George's County? I think one of the first things we need to look at is the shortage we have in public safety. When you look at our police officers, we are down so many at this time. And I think one of the things we need to do is really increase that. Now, during the Wayne Curry administration, we faced a similar thing, where it was hard to recruit and get public safety, particularly police officers, in. And we turned that around, and we became the, the uh, jurisdiction that even the Washington Post wrote up about having a wait list of people. Mm -hmm. And that was something I was intimately involved and in, helped to design that process. Now, I know another topic big for you is uh, public-private partnerships here in the county. Talk about your support of those and why you think they're so important. Oh, I, I think that's, uh, that so, is so important. When we start talking about public-private partnerships, we're talking about those that work. We're talking about bringing in and, and having business be a part of the community, i.e. working with government and showing that we're business friendly. That gets to that point of where you talk about great public-private partnership, that you have an opportunity to show everyone what Prince George's is about and about how we are business friendly. Let's move on to the area of housing. Having more housing is one thing. Having enough affordable housing is another issue. How do you guarantee more affordable housing here in Prince George's County? Well, I, I think we need to look at that, but make sure that we look through it through the right lens. Mm -hmm. And what I mean by that, when we talk about affordable housing and workforce housing, we have to make sure that we're, we're doing it in such a way that it's smart development, that, that we have the infrastructure to maintain that. I think we do people a disservice. If we're building uh, housing and other things where there aren't the schools that we can, the capacity, the public safety, all of those things. So we have to match that up. But we also have to make sure that we're looking at market rate housing as well, because we have to make sure that we, we can help grow our, our middle class and that we can have people who come in who can pay additional tax resources on property to our homes. So we still have to have a balance. You mentioned schools. Let's talk about the blueprint for Maryland's future and the dollars here in the county. How do you ensure those resources are there to make the programs go through? Well, as, as we know that um, Maryland, I, I think, uh, did a disservice somewhere to Prince George's in Baltimore, only from the standpoint of it is hard for Prince George's County and 
for example, Baltimore, uh, to, to match the matching funds they have to do. Mm -hmm. But we have to be dedicated to the blueprint. We have to look at how we're going to make sure that that works. And a big part of that goes back to economic development and bringing in businesses and growing businesses, which is something that I haven't experienced that nobody else on the council currently has to the extent that I have. Talk about one last issue here, climate issues, a big issue here in the country, in the county. What can you do as an at-large member to address climate issues here in Prince George's? I think what we need to look at is continuing to do the processes we're doing for green uh, cities and making mm -hmm. sure that everything we do, even with our buildings. You know, I myself was on the board of the National Aquarium. I'm a commissioner for the Critical Area Commission, so I understand I'm actively engaged in climate change and making sure that our environment is safe. So those are the kind of things we can do is bring in, especially when we talk about housing and how we do that. There are so many new uh, ways to bring in and make sure that the housing that we do, that we push that they be green and they support our climate. Okay, Mayor Jim Adams, thank you very much. All the best in your one for at large seat. Hey, thank you so very much for having me and I appreciate that. And, you know, we look forward to making Prince George's County even a better place than it is now. Okay. Well, make sure to tune in Thursday as we introduce you to another candidate, Judy Mickens-Murray.